गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वी आर लॉन्चिंग वन न्यू कोर्स दैट इज जी एस टी स्क्रूटनी ऑफ रिटर्न इन दिस कोर्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन डिटेल जी एस टी आर थ्री बी जी एस टी आर वन जी एस टी आर नाइन एंड जी एस टी आर नाइन सी स्पेसिफिकली जी एस टी आर नाइन एंड नाइन सी वुड बी फॉर द फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री विच इज गोइंग टू बी फर्निस्ड बाई थर्टी फर्स्ट दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री अलॉन्ग विद वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन डिटेल इंटरलिंकिंग ऑफ जी एस टी रिटर्न द इंटरलिंकिंग is very very important because when i have seen the multiple asmt 10 notices and the discrepancy memo and adt 02 issued by the department while conducting the audit under section 65 then i come to know that these notices are based on the scrutiny of return for example the amount reported by you in the 3.1.d versus the itc taken by you in 482 and 483 vis a vis the amount reported under table 4g of the gstr9 plus the itc taken by you under table 6c and 6d of the gstr9 similarly what is the impact of the exempted supply on the reversal of itc which has been shown under table 4b and 4b2 plus table 7 plus table 12 of the gstr9 what is the impact of table 8c and table 12 minus sorry table 13 minus table 12 and which is the amount reported in the gstr 9c under the table 12 also we will learn the disclosure or the notes on accounts shown in the financial statement for example you have earned the duty credit script what is the impact on the reversal of input tax credit as per the rule 42 43 whether the department has the right to issue the notice or whether department can issue the notice on this discrepancy what is the safeguard area which we can used to reply in the notice so basically in the course we are going to discuss in very very detailed manner the interlinking of the gst return by which you can understand the gap and help your client to save the penalty interest etc for departmental notices so thank you very much